going to do a video today. This is going to be the first one in a series of how we're going to get a dog to sit and wait on its own while we walk off and do whatever it may be for as long as we want. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to try and achieve that. I'm going to show you as well in this video uh, a common something I see people trying to do commonly and uh, the reason for it failing or the reason for it being more difficult than it needs to be. Uh, we've got Killian here, he's here for no other reason than the cute factor and also when I do this kind of thing I always put him in his bouncer so he can see or when my wife feeds him and trains him we always put him in his bouncer so he can see us and watch us doing that and he grows up watching that and uh, hopefully when he's a little bit older he can have another dog too. Probably not a spaniel one, because... Okay, we'll get, we'll get a spaniel. Uh, so, we've got Fern's food, ready and waiting. Fern's 20 months old now, by the way, um, and she's still an absolute live wire, but we need, if we're gonna get her ready for being in a beta next year, then she needs to learn a few manners. So as well as the training we're gonna do, we're gonna really clamp down now on uh, sort of the discipline with it and the um, obedience side of training. Um, we're going, she's basically going from nursery school to high school in one go, and uh, she's in for a bit of a shock, I imagine. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the dog to sit and walk away and leave her. Uh, and that's what, we, that's what we, that's a scenario we might face in real life, so we need to train her for that to happen. Um, now, when we, I'm talking, mister. when we get a dog to sit, you find people saying sit, wait, stay, stay, wait, 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 wait. We, we shouldn't need or have to do that. When you give a dog an instruction or a command, that command or instruction should last until the next one. So if you tell a dog to sit, the dog should sit and stay sat until you give it another command, not until the dog wants to do something different. So we need to work on that as well. And um, we build that up over a, a period of time. So sit means, doesn't just mean sit until you want to. Sit means sit, stay there, and do not do anything until I ask you to. So we're gonna work on that. So I'll show you what we're gonna, or how I'm gonna try and achieve it. I'll show you, uh, what I see people trying to do first, which is, is uh, setting up for a bit of a disaster, and hopefully we'll get the desired effect from Fern. So we'll try it. Fern. Sit. Wait. Good deal. Okay, I didn't want that to happen. Try again to try and demonstrate what I'd expect to happen. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. I can't believe it, but that's probably the only time Fern's ever done what, ever done what I've asked before. Okay. Try again one last time. Sit. just done what I wanted us to do, what I see a lot of others, uh, what, what happens quite a lot. So what we've done, imagine this is a field or an open space thing. We sit the dog, sit the dog down in the middle of a large open space or big open field, you ask it to sit, then sit, and then you turn around, you turn your back on the dog and walk off. The dog's never never been in that scenario before, and he thinks you're leaving, so the dog's going to follow you like this. And then you turn around, the dog's behind you, you go absolutely mental at the dog, and start screaming, shouting, throwing the dog around, and it's not good for anybody. What we're going to do instead, we're going to put the dog in the corner of a field, or the corner of a room, or this little bit here. That way it feels really secure, and. He doesn't feel like he's got to be on edge that there's perhaps a predator or something else going to come and harm him from behind because he's safe and secure. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to take one or two steps back, we're facing the dog still, we're not going to turn our back on the dog, and that's all for ego. We're just going to look at the dog, we're going to keep eye contact with the dog, we're going to give the dog a hand signal at the same time, we're going to take a step back, and then we're going to go to the dog. And if he stays still, we're going to give him strokes, rewards, cuddles, food, whatever it may be. We're never going to call the dog to us for the reward. We're not going to let the dog see the reward because he might break that sit and come running towards us. We're going to go back to the dog nice and calmly and then we're going to reward the dog. Sit. So I've given the instruction, sit, my hands up in the sit and I've taken too long to explain that so she broke it sit one step back good girl good girl sit good girl good girl when I say sit I'm not asking her to, I'm telling her to firmly. I'm not saying what a lot of quite people they sort of sometimes people plead with the dog to sit. They go, sit, sit, sit. And that's we're not doing that. We're telling the dog to sit. Like this. Sit. Good girl, good girl, good sit. One more time. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. And she jumped up then to sort of cuddle and lick me. We don't want that. We haven't asked her to do that. We've asked her to sit and sit and put your bum on the floor. So when she did it, I pushed the bum firmly on the floor and I repeated it. Sit. Good girl. Now you can keep doing this, you don't have to break the sit and put it back in it. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here's a good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. So, simple as that. That's the first step. I've got her in a nice corner where she feels confident and safe and secure. And all we're doing is one or two steps. We're giving instructions, we're not asking her to do something, we're telling her what we want her to do. And then we're coming back to her to reward her for it, nice and calmly. We're not getting all hyped up, we're not letting her see the reward of the treat. We're not... We're not calling her back to us, we're going back to the dog. So we'll do that over and over again, until the dog knows that sit means stay there, do not move. That if daddy takes a step backwards, that's absolutely fine. He's not going to run out the door and leave me. He's going to come back to me. So I may as well just sit here and wait for the nice rewards and consequences of it. Hope that helps. We'll develop that and we'll take it down to the fields. Hopefully if I can get a little bit of better weather and show you it out in the fields. See you soon. Thank you for watching me and Fern. Please give us a subscribe, a like, a share and comment below with anything you've got for us.